Howard, Michigan. What you're about to see in this movie is not for the faint at heart. So, if you have heart disease, diabetes, kidney stones, colon cancer, breast cancer, pancreas cancer, cancer of the mouth, a brain tumor, if you are pregnant, if you have been pregnant, if you are going to be pregnant, if you have a family member who is pregnant, if your friend is pregnant, if you have ever thought about being pregnant, if you have a mole, a foot fungus, less than 30,000 miles on your vehicle, get less than 58 miles a gallon, have a sixth toe, less than four fingers, a pet muskrat, you eat your cat's food, have a cheese hat, you talk to Keebler elves, have a fake singing fish, or have more than three diecast cars, then maybe this movie isn't for you. But you should watch this anyway because it can save you from depression, gothism, and emoism. Enjoy! Hello, I am Howard Michigan. Ever since I was little, I always wanted to be a survivor man. So, I'm going to show you how to be a survivor man, too, as I experienced it, because this is going to be good. Now, when you're packing to go out into the wilderness, you're going to need a few things with you. First off, you're going to need a stick of deodorant. You can't be stinky out there in the wilderness or else you'll attract animals and possibly get rabies. And that's not good. Another thing you're going to need is a knife. Now this knife here can cut into almost anything according to the box. And is this going to be good because I can cut into anything. And a knife's important. You're going to need a flashlight because hello is a flashlight. That should explain everything Right there, when I say flashlight, you go, oh, you need to have that. So, the flashlight is very important when you're going out to survive the wilderness. You're going to need ketchup. Now, ketchup may not seem like a very important thing to take with you on the wilderness, but when you find, you're going to need to find food. And a lot of the food in the wilderness doesn't taste good at all. It's just disgusting food. And ketchup makes everything taste better. So, ketchup's a good thing to pack with you. Just don't let it go bad, because that's not good either. You're going to need some duct tape. Because duct tape holds the universe together. So it's going to be very important to have it. The next thing you're going to need is a gun. Now this is my choice of a weapon, because it's light and compact. When you go hunting, you're going to need to shoot something, and this is just an all-together knife nice piece of weaponry right here. So, you're going, you should take that with you. Now, when you want to use the bathroom in the wilderness, you're going to need toilet paper. You don't want to wipe yourself with leaves, because although they say that in like the Survivor Man show, what the heck does he know? This is much better, and it's going to be very comfortable on your behind. You're going to need a blanket. A blanket is important to have because it's a blanket. It's going to get very cold out in the wilderness. You're going to need to cover yourself up somehow. And a blanket is the best way to cover yourself up. To survive in the wilderness. You're going to need a water bottle. Now I packed this with lemonade because lemonade is like the greatest liquid out there in the world to quench your thirst. And you're going to want to get something that will quench your thirst because you can't be getting dehydrated out in the wilderness. And if there's no creek near you, you can't be drinking a whole bunch of liquids. And water just doesn't always quench your thirst as good as lemonade does. So it's good to have. And I use it in a water bottle because it's a smaller compact item instead of carrying a gallon jug. Now you're also going to want to make sure you have a regular water bottle too because you're going to, to need to bottle your pee. <laughs>
you were out in the wilderness, you're going to need to find yourself some kind of food. So I packed myself a weapon to shoot this food. And it just so happens, it's got to be very quiet. I'm ready just in case. Now I'm all dirty. Okay, pretty much dead. Dead. Too close. Okay, too close. Could have rabies. Alright. Now, when you're out in the wilderness, you're going to need to find a more, if you can't find anything to hunt down, you're going to need to find another source of food. Now look here. This, a tree like this has bark that produces nutrients. And there are other trees like this one too. But this tree here I just happened to find produces nutrients in the bark that you can actually eat to survive in the wilderness. So, what you're going to want to do here is get your knife and you're just going to want to, there's an animal. And, and anyway, you're just going to want to scrape the bark off the tree just like this and catch them in your hand. Just like this. Okay, I've cut my... Oh, I've cut my... Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, no! I've been in the right place, but it must have been the wrong time. I'd have said the right thing. But I must use the wrong line. I've been on the right trail, but I must use the wrong call. Who the heck are you? Oh my God! I'm losing. Oh my God! What do you want? Let me in now. What the heck? Let me in. What the heck? Stay tuned for the next Howard Michigan.